This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Fluid level checks. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Raise the hood upwards. Brake fluid level. The brake master cylinder fluid reservoir is located on the driver's side of the engine compartment near the firewall. The fluid level should be maintained between the max and min lines marked on the side of the reservoir. If the fluid is low, wipe the top of the reservoir and cap with a clean rag to prevent contamination of the system when the cap is unscrewed. Unscrew the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. While the reservoir cap is off, check the fluid in the reservoir for contamination. If rust deposits, dirt particles, or water droplets are present, the system should be properly drained and refilled. Top up the reservoir with the specified type of new brake fluid until the fluid reaches the max line. After filling the reservoir to the proper level, install the cap and make sure the cap is fully seated to prevent fluid leakage or contamination. Engine oil level. Pull the dipstick out of the tube and wipe away all of the oil from the end with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube and pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. The level should be between the min and max marks. To add oil, unscrew the oil filler cap and pour in the correct type of oil. Use a funnel to prevent oil spills. After adding oil, wait a few minutes to allow the level to stabilize. Then pull out the dipstick and check the level again. Add more oil if required until it reaches the max mark. Do not overfill the engine. Insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it by hand only. Coolant level. A plastic coolant expansion tank is located at the right side of the engine compartment and is connected by hoses to the cooling system. The level in the tank varies with the temperature of the engine. As the engine heats up during operation, the expanding coolant fills the tank. When the engine is cold, the coolant level should be at the full cold mark on the reservoir. If it isn't, slowly remove the cap from the tank and add a 50-50 mixture of Dexcool antifreeze and water until it is at the proper level. Install the expansion tank cap. Drive the vehicle, let the engine cool completely then recheck the coolant level. Automatic transmission fluid level. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. 
raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Raise the rear of the car and support it on jack stands. With the parking brake set, start the engine. Then move the shift lever through all of the gear ranges, ending in park. The fluid level must be checked with the vehicle level and the engine running at idle. The automatic transmission must be at operating temperature to obtain an accurate fluid level reading. If a factory type scan tool is not available, use an infrared temperature gun to make an accurate reading of the fluid temperature. It should be between 86 and 122 degrees Fahrenheit for the fluid level check. Make sure the engine is idling in park. Then place a drain pan underneath the check fill plug to catch any fluid that may spill out. Then remove the plug from the side of the transmission oil pan on the driver's side of the transmission. Use a small screwdriver as a dipstick to check the level of the fluid. The level is correct if the fluid is even with the bottom of the check fill plug hole. If more fluid is needed, use a small fluid pump with a flexible hose to fill the transmission through the check fill plug hole, then remove the hose and allow the excess fluid to drain until it only drips out of the hole. Install the fluid level check fill plug into the transmission pan and tighten it to the specified torque setting. Turn off the engine. Lower the car to the ground. Power steering fluid level. The power steering pump fluid reservoir is located at the left front of the engine compartment. For the check, the front wheel should be pointed straight ahead. With the engine off, use a clean rag to wipe off the reservoir cap and the area around the cap. This will help prevent any foreign matter from entering the steering system. Turn and pull out the reservoir cap, which has a dipstick attached to it. Wipe the fluid off of the dipstick with a clean rag. Reinstall the cap, then remove it again and note the fluid level. It should be at the appropriate mark on the dipstick in relation to the fluid temperature, which can be checked with your finger. The power steering fluid level can be checked with the engine either hot or cold. One side of the dipstick is marked hot and the other side is marked cold. If additional fluid is required, pour the specified type of fluid directly into the reservoir using a funnel to prevent spills. Install the cap, tightening it securely by hand. Windshield washer fluid level. Fluid for the windshield washer system is stored in a plastic reservoir located at the left side of the engine compartment. Flip open the cap and fill the windshield washer reservoir as necessary. Push the cap securely onto the opening when finished.